let's go down slow. There's a saying that for some, this club is a family. There's certainly some truth in that. You can't fully understand it unless you yourself have worked here. There's a unique heritage at Bayer Leverkusen, and it can be traced all the way back to 1904, when factory workers founded a sporting club that became today's Bundesliga giants. I believe that Leverkusen shows that it's a family-orientated club. Somewhere you can feel at home and somewhere that focuses on the culture of the club, which is always to remain united and calm in trying to reach our goals. I think we've worked extremely hard over the last five, six, seven years in order to be one of the top three or top four teams in the Bundesliga. We've been very focused on achieving this. Delivering an exciting, distinctive brand of football developed at Salzburg earned Roger Schmidt a move to the Bay Arena in 2014. He's definitely a great personality. He's a very meticulous person, very precise. And he expects and demands a lot from us. And I think he's fair. He really tries to be like that with everyone. But of course, it's always difficult to satisfy so many players. I believe that every player is in a position to achieve their best when they feel good and feel valued and have trust in their coach. I try to build relationships with every player and with the whole team. This forms a good basis to then implement my style of football in training. You can see in the last two years that we've been successful in how we've played. What I think and find very positive is his belief and conviction that he possesses. He transfers that to us and it's shown in the last two years. Die Werkself have come second in the Bundesliga on five separate occasions, but overtaking Bayern Munich and finishing top is a whole new challenge. To win the Bundesliga, we'll have to play a fantastic season. And Bayern must have a weaker season. If Bayern, like last year, gets 85 points, then it's practically impossible for us to be champions. I believe we can achieve more than last year, get more points. But maybe it's difficult to win. When you look at Bayern's squad and coach, they're all world class. Of course, it can be annoying sometimes and frustrating when Bayern are always in front. I think every team, not just us, who are behind them, are eager to change that. We're all trying to change how it ends up, but we'll have to see. Bayer began their Champions League campaign at home with a 2-2 draw against CSKA Moscow. Monaco and Tottenham make up a group they hope to qualify from. If you followed the teams last season, Tottenham Hotspur were near the top for a long time and they had the chance to be champions, but ended up in third place just behind Arsenal. They played an excellent season and have a great squad and a very good coach, which is definitely a big advantage. Against Monaco, we have a score to settle. We played against them two years ago and we're unlucky to lose on two occasions. So now we want to change that. The Champions League is on another level. It's the most beautiful competition that you can play in European football. You get to play the best teams in the game. I think every team that comes to our stadium, who travels here, they're all at the top level. We really need to be disciplined, focused and enjoy the game. But you need to have fun in football. Bring everything you can to the match. You can't make any mistakes, because they'll be punished. But you have to enjoy it. This is my third year in the Champions League with Leverkusen. In the first, we succeeded in getting to the round of 16. But it went very badly against Atletico, 
in the penalty shootout. Last year, we very narrowly lost in the knockout stages. So that's what we want to beat this year and play in the Champions League long after Christmas.